what's up youtube this is your boy alex i'm back all right people you ain't had a youtube video on my primary youtube channel for obvious reasons this is a public service announcement you're going to be getting limited youtube videos on that channel because i've actually run out of space and not only did i've ran out of space i can't put all my new content on one channel so i had to make two new channels because of the fact that I'm running out of space. Now this video is going to go on to the primary channel and on my reserve channel and on to the other channel that I created. So basically what I'm saying is you're going to see the same video on three different YouTube channels. And you'll have the choice to decide which channel you want to see the video. Of course most of you are going to pick either the primary channel or the reserve channel before you go to the new channel that has a lot of space. I just made this new channel like two days ago. Um, and the reason why I say limited videos is because sometimes you guys might think I ain't made no videos on the primary channel, right? And then the next minute you see a video on the primary channel, it means limited. Instead of five videos or four videos on the primary channel, you might get one to two videos maybe three weeks later, maybe a month later. I might have to delete some old videos just to make space on that primary channel so don't be taking it personal and don't be thinking oh alex abandoned the channel no i ran out of space i had to make a new completely new youtube channel to continue this great content until everything returns back to normal and resumes i had to make new channels uh if you understand as a youtube content creator it is not easy making these videos because some people be like, okay, I made enough, that should be enough. And then sometimes you get complaints from people like, man, I'm bored. Ain't nothing on TV, ain't nothing in the movies. You know, when I go out in public, people be giving me them looks like, what else you gonna make into a video? And a lot of times it'd be like, I'm, I'm trying to get, a, I'm trying to catch a break. I'm trying to give everyone a break. Some people got a break and some people want to see more of my content. And sometimes I'd be trying to, not say too much because if you say too much then people get angry and upset with you and i might even finish with my new movie series but i had to make a new channel for that so i might have to turn around and make another youtube channel just for movies and television so that way all my content don't be on one channel and then i run out of space real fast so when you get up to like 170 180 or 190 videos you start to run out of a lot of space and then you have to delete old videos just to have space and you still run out so i had to make a new channel so if you only see one or two videos on this primary channel and then three weeks go by or two months go by don't take it personal if you see another new channel with the same video somewhere in the future you might have to go visit a new channel i know the people that subscribe to this channel may not like that but it's like when you run out of space you run out of space it's like when you go to a storage and you put your stuff in the storage and you run out of space in that storage then you have to turn around and get another section because you ran out of space so it's, it's the same thing with this nothing to take personal it's part of life life happens everything happens for a reason today's video is going to be called sex game sex is like the animal kingdom part two to be alpha you must learn from an alpha now, in part one, I talked about the animal kingdom and the animals in the animal tribe and how to be alpha. Today, we're going to be focusing on the math and the science, the psychology of the title of the name alpha male. Because in recent time, it's been blown out of proportion. Some people have their own definition. Some men think that being an alpha male is good. Some people think being an alpha male is bad. Some people think it's just the name of a title that you get in sports and not necessarily something that translates into life. So you have two different perspectives. You have one group of people who say alpha male is just the name of a title, nothing else, nothing more. And you have one other group that feels like it's more than just a title of a name. It's the foundation of life. And of course, you see the title of the video is called Sex is like the animal kingdom and why it has a number two as in part two is because the sequel to the first one the first one was so well received it got a very great critical reception because it's now 116 views so people seem to like the video i mean there are some people here and there that are not happy with that video but still 
for the most part, some seem to actually like it. Others seem to, you know, be indecisive. This one will be a little different than the first one. It'll still talk about sex, but it will be towards the middle and the end. All right, so let's get into the video, shall we? Now, order for you to become an alpha male, order for you to become the man, you have to learn from the man in all walks of life. Doesn't matter if you're on the West Coast, the East Coast, doesn't matter if it's West, East, North, or South, all four, co all four corners of the globe, doesn't matter what city, which state, or what country you're from, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, you have to learn from an alpha male to become an alpha male. I know when you see the movies and the television shows, you strongly believe in those movies and television shows that those characters are alpha males. And they are. When you look at movies like Superman, he is an alpha male. When you watch Batman, he's an alpha male. When you watch Iron Man or Captain America or Thor, those are alpha male characters. Even if you look at characters in Star Wars, you look at Luke Skywalker, you look at Dark Vader, um, Mace Windu, those are alpha males in the Star Wars universe. If you like Star Trek, there are alpha males in the universe of Star Trek. But that's where it begins and that's where it ends because those are movies and television shows. In real life, it don't go like that. In real life, in order for you to become great, you have to learn from somebody that's great. In order for you to become the best of the best, you must learn from the best of the best. In order for you to become number one, you have to take on number one. In order for you to be the man, you have to learn from the man. In order to become an alpha male, you have to learn from an alpha male. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. You take the animal kingdom for an example, people. In order for the young male lion to reign dominant supreme on the older male lion, he has to first learn how everything's put together. First, he has to learn how to find food and water by himself and take it to the older male lion so the older male lion can sign and improve the respect. Okay, you know how to find food and water by yourself. So if that older male lion um, gets into a fight with another animal or they get separated from the pack, that younger male lion knows how to take care of the foundation of the, of the pack. That's when he can ascend from being the a beta male to the alpha male. You can't have two alpha males in the pack. You can only have one. It's almost like the concept from the television show um, Highlander. There's the Highlander movies, and there's actually a television show called Highlander, where it has the same philosophy. There can only be one. Well, you can't have two alpha um, gorillas in the pack. You can only have one. You can't have two alpha male tigers in the pack. You can only have one. And it's the same thing when it comes to us human beings. When you go to work, there are managers. There are assistant managers. There are supervisors. There are assistant supervisors. But a lot of times there can only be one CEO boss. And there's an old saying, too many chiefs, not enough Indians. And what that means is everyone wants to be the man. Everyone wants to be the head boss in charge. And guess what? Men do that and women do that. And there's nothing wrong with it. That's human nature. That's a part of life. That's what's to be expected. All of us believe in our right. We should be the boss. We should be the man. But there are rules. There are proper channels for that. Or Like if you look at the martial arts, as a kid, as a teenager, and as a man, I always tried to find out who is the alpha male. When I took martial arts and karate, I found the martial arts teacher was the alpha male. When I did judo, uh, when I learned katanamata, when I learned boxing, kickboxing, there was an alpha male in those martial arts fighting styles. And they told me, in order for you to be the best of the best in martial arts, you got to learn from the best of the best. You got to take lessons from us. And then as time goes on, when you've learned those lessons and we see that you've learned and you improved and you have sent it to all the levels, then we will tell you you are the alpha male. You don't just walk into a martial arts class and say, all right, I'm an alpha male. It could, there's no time limit, okay? Now, in the movies and TV shows, they, they skip. 
they show you some of the training and then they skip the rest of it and they just make it where the character is in their prime. Because if it's a movie and I went to film school, I'm not bragging about it, not trying to be an asshole in this video. I'm just trying to tell you if you go to film school or filmmaking school, they'll tell you the difficult film filmmaking process. If it's a movie, depending on how long the movie is, it could be one hour and 30 minutes, one hour and 40, one hour and 45 minutes two-hour movie it could be a three-hour movie and in that movie they have to show the story the backstory of all the characters the good guys the bad guys they have to show the characters powers they have to show the constant struggle of good versus bad so they can't always show all the training in the movie if it's a television show where it gets five seasons you can actually show at least three or four episodes and season one of that character's training and progression to graduate from the next level to the next level to the next level. Well, it's just like that in real life. In real life, there's no time limit. There's no time frame on how you can become an alpha male, okay? And they're not just, I want to be the alpha male at work. Because everyone wants to be the boss at work. I want to be the alpha male uh, uh, in the classroom at school. Well, there are other representations of being an alpha male. When some guys play basketball, they are the alpha male of that basketball team. When some men play um, football or baseball, they are the alpha male of that football team, that baseball team. When some people go to the gym and they do training, some people are the alpha male of that gym. And when some people are film directors, some of them are the alpha male of that filmmaking. Whether you're doing a movie or a television show, you're the alpha male of that film production. You're the alpha male of that television production. Everyone is looking up to you to make the big time decisions, the executive decisions. And they're also going to be looking at, are you going to make some good decisions, bad decisions, or a little bit of both? That determines if you're a good leader. Even in the military, there is a level of branch. Now, I don't know how many levels of branches there is in the military, so I'm going to give you an educated guess. I'm going to say there's probably anywhere between 10 to like 12. Somebody might say it's just 7. Someone might say it's 10. So I'm just guessing because I know somebody's going to come in the comment section and correct me. And if you correct me, I'm not going to take it personal. That's a part of life. You learn something from me, I learn something from you. We learn from each other, good and bad. That's how you grow. That's how you evolve into a better man, into a better woman, into a better human being. Now, that I explain that, in order for you to be the best car mechanic, at one time in history, you had to learn from a car mechanic to learn how to fix cars, trucks, buses, motorcycles, planes, helicopters. You had to learn from a car mechanic in order to become the best car mechanic. In order for you to fix computers and cell phones, you've had to learn from someone to learn how to fix cell phones and computers, in order to be the best bodybuilder, the best power lifter, the best weightlifter, to be in the best athletic shape, you had to learn from a personal trainer, a bodybuilder, a weightlifter, or a power lifter to become one. In order for you to be the best basketball player, the best football player, somebody had to show you how to play basketball and football. In order for you to, and even if guys say, what about if you just want to get the girls? order for you to learn how to get your Mac on, order for you to pull two girls, three girls, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten girls. Somebody had to show you how to Mac. You had to learn from the guy who knows how to Mac to the girls. Basically, it goes back to the rule of being an alpha male. You must learn from an alpha male if you're to become an alpha male. It ain't like the movies and the television shows where they show you some sequences and then they fast forward time and then the guy's an alpha male. That's television and film. Real life, there's no time limit. There's no time frame. It could be five years later you become alpha. It could be 10, 15, 20 years later that you can become alpha male. And going and trying to become the alpha male at work and being at school are only just two ways to become alpha. There's multiple ways to become an alpha male. You could be the alpha male of your basketball team, football team, baseball team. You could be the alpha male at the gym. It doesn't always have to be the alpha male at work or at school. 
Or you could be the alpha male that gets your Mac on with the ladies. We have a term for that. You hear the terms, bad boy, he's the player, he's the Chad. So when guys say, what about being the alpha male of Mackin', you had to learn from at least four guys on how to Mac to the females. So in order for you to become alpha male, you must learn from an alpha male. Say what you will about professional wrestling being fake, but even in the world of entertainment, you have to learn from someone to become great. You look in acting, right? Some people refer to George Clooney as the man in Hollywood, right? Well, it's because George Clooney had to learn from guys before him so he can become the man. Now you see George Clooney's everywhere. You see George Clooney in movies, television shows, commercials. You see the guy um, sponsoring clothing lines. Same thing with Robert Rodriguez, one of my favorite all-time Hollywood film directors. In order for him to become a great film director, he had to learn from people like Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, Oliver Stone. He had to learn from them in order for him to become a great film director. Same thing if you look at um, actors like Chris Hinesworth. In order for him to be the best action star when it comes to the Thor movies, he had to learn from Robert Downey Jr., not only that Robert Downey Jr. is the alpha male of the Avengers in the movies, he's an alpha male in real life. They look up to Robert Downey Jr. as a mentor. You know, Robert Downey Jr. taught Chris Hinesworth how you talk to the press. Not the audience, the press, the people who interview you when you do your movies, when you promote your movies. So he can feel comfortable talking to them. So that way they feel like he's a sociable guy, he's fun, he's exciting, he's not this boring, dull personality that's rich and famous, and it's all about his fame and fortune. So Robert Downey Jr. tries to show Chris Hinesworth how to have a balance between being serious, but also being fun with the audience and the press and the interviewer. He did it with Captain America. So he mentors a lot of the younger actors who play these big-time superheroes, and the Marvel Universe. You know, he helps out um, Tom Welling, our newest Spider-Man. He mentors the kid. Show the kid this is how you increase your acting range. He gives him tips on how to be a better actor. He'll tell him behind the scenes, when you did this, you should have did that. In order for you to become an alpha male, you must learn from one. It's the same thing with women. This video is not just exclusive to men. This video is for both. It's for men and for women. So I don't want no one saying I'm biased, I'm sexist, I'm playing favoritism. This video's for men and for women, young and old, black or white. The video's for both. Same thing in Hollywood. You got some younger actress who look up to older actresses. A lot of these young African-American actresses, they get their advice from Angela Bassett. Because Angela Bassett has been in Hollywood for three plus decades. When Angela Bassett first broke into Hollywood... Angela Bassett had to learn from people like Oprah to become a good actress. And then Angela Bassett had to teach Halle Berry, and Halle Berry is teaching the younger generation how to be a good actress. So even when it comes to women, order for those females to be an alpha female, they got to learn from the, the, the past generation. So when people say, when do I get to be in the spotlight? When is it my time? Your time will come. When I was doing martial arts, my martial arts teacher would tell me in order to become alpha, you got to learn from an alpha. You know, you may be bigger, stronger, faster, but you're not smarter and you're not skilled yet. And once someone tells you that, that's when you know they're telling you it for a reason. So you may not understand it when you're in high school or in college or when you get your first job or your second job. It's not until you get three jobs or four, or five, or six, or seven, or eight, or nine, or ten jobs, whatever, that you understand what they mean by you could be the biggest, the strongest, the fastest, but you got to be the most skilled and the most smartest person to attain the title of alpha male. That's if you're going to be an alpha male as a man or an alpha female as a woman. So it's a two-way street. It goes both ways. I know this may sound like a boring educational video, but that's why part one was so well received, because I had to break down the math and the science in explaining it. Now, where does the sex come in? Because I know that's what a lot of men are probably looking at me like, man, get to the point, man. The women love the educational part. The men just want to hear the sex. I I'm trying to make a fair balance. That's what life is about. Sometimes you can't always talk about the sex. Sometimes you got to explain 
the boring stuff in order to get to the fun stuff. That's another rule of being alpha. Taking care of your business first, and then you can play and have fun later. You do it out of order, and then things fall apart very fast. First, get a house or an apartment, a car, you know, get your finances in order, self-improve, and then get your Mac on. You try to get your Mac on first like you see in the movies and the television shows, and you probably will succeed, and then you will fail right after. I'm just trying to tell you, I've actually tried the, the stuff in the movies and the television shows, and most older men just do this. They'll do that to me all day, every day. And guess what? They do that because they're trying to explain to me, you, 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 you're, you're copying the movies and the television shows, and you're not understanding that somebody wrote the script for the actors to play the characters like that. So when you watch the movie and the television show, you think you can do what the characters do. Real life, you don't go like that. Real life, there's a process. Um, seriously, you don't see basketball players come to the NBA and just win championships, right? Because order for them to win is like what Shaq said. You must learn how to lose first before you learn how to win. Well, it's the same. Again, he's referring to the rules of the alpha male from the animal kingdom. Now, where does the sex come in? Okay, the sex comes in when you get men to respect you. And this is something that most guys don't understand. Younger guys. The women will respect you when they see men respect you. So if you're on a basketball team, the football team, the baseball team, and those guys respect you, the women respect you. If those guys disrespect you, women will disrespect you. I said it in my other videos. And the women will find that oppressing. Like she will be oppressed by the fact that a group of guys see you as a leader. So you can say alpha male, you can say the man, you can say the Mac or whatever it is. I'm just trying to, you know, explain the math and the science. If a woman buy you lunch or dinner, it's because she has respect for you. It's because she see you as the alpha. You ain't got to do what they do in the movies and the TV. I'm the, mal I'm the alpha. I'm the Mac. I run this. You ain't got to tell the woman that. The woman will see that for herself. See, when you try to go and tell the woman I'm the man, what you're doing is you're not displaying confidence. You're displaying, what's the word I'm looking for? You're displaying superficial confidence, fake confidence. Because if you got to tell her I'm the man, I'm the alpha, then she's going to start questioning why are you telling me over and over and over like a broken record. And then that starts to make her wonder, yeah, are you really are the alpha male? Are you are a leader? So you got to be careful about trying to tell somebody I'm the man, I'm the alpha. You let somebody else say you're the alpha, you're the man. Because it sounds real and 100% authentic. Now some men might say, what if I am the man and they never say it? Then there's another rule for that. Don't get upset if they don't ever say it. Sometimes they don't know if it's real or fake. And when you try to make someone think something's real because you think it's fake, it goes into the concept of... Don't try to fix something if it ain't broken. So if you try to make somebody like you because they don't like you, that goes into the category of what I just said. You try to tell somebody, I'm the man, I'm the alpha. If the woman think you're alpha, she will tell you. If the woman doesn't think you're alpha and she don't tell you, you got your answer. When you try to, give, when you try to make somebody to give you the answers and they don't want to give you the answers, you don't make the situation better, you make it worse. You open yourself up for the police coming at your door. You open yourself up for a restraining order. You open yourself up to get hit with pepper spray, get hit with, uh, with a taser. You know, you get open up for her big brother to come, her uncle to come, because she won't give you the answer, and you keep trying to make her give you the answer. You make it worse, not better. Move on to the next woman. When you see an alpha um, mountain lion get rejected by a female lion, do you ever see the alpha male lion keep pursuing that woman over and over? No, because the information tells that lion, I got rejected. She don't find me physically, sexually attractive, even though I'm the alpha male. So go move on to the next female lion. Eventually, after two or three or four tries or even five tries, he will get the female lion. He'll get another one. And then sometimes what happens is, the female lion that rejected that male lion will see him with another female lion and then come right after him because 
it incites challenges. And this is probably why some men do not like when pickup artists, dating coaches, and some red pill men in a manosphere say sometimes women like challenges. Well, they're referring to the animal kingdom because that's what happens in the animal kingdom. And then you'll you'll be trying to figure out how come that male lion got two female lions at the same time. Well, it's the same thing with the gorilla. The male gorilla, that's an alpha, he gets rejected, and he goes after another female. Now, I'm not saying if you're a man, you're supposed to get two women at the same time. I'm not about saying that, so please don't do that. I mean, if you do that, then you're going to be announced as a bad boy, a player. Chad does the same behavior. So we're doing a compare and contrast. This is where the sex come in, because we're done with the math and science. Now we're getting into the psychology of the male and female interaction. If you were to do that at nightclubs or at bars, then you're making yourself the bad boy, the player, the Chad, where you might come off as a strong interpretation of a stereotype from movies and television shows. And they may never get to know who you really are if you do that. So the animals, like the lions, the tigers, they can do that. We as human beings, we can do it, but the question is, do you want to be a negative stereotype from a movie or a television show? That's the thing as a man, you have to ask yourself, are you willing to destroy your self-integrity and self-respect to turn into a stereotype because women won't see you as alpha male? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Yeah, that's that's why I say the animals can do it and get away with it. We 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 can, we could do it, but you didn't compromise yourself in doing it. I mean, I'm just trying to explain to you there's a right way and there, and there's a wrong way. Now that I explained that part, let's get to the best part of the video, and that is why I call it part two. I call it part two because you have to learn from someone in order to become an alpha. Like, if you're, like, the best video game person, I don't care if you play video games. In order for you to just kick ass and take names in video games, somebody had to teach you how to do that. In order for you to learn how to drive cars and motorcycles, somebody had to teach you how to drive a car and a motorcycle. So this goes for both male and female, young and old, black or white. This video is supposed to help both sexes. So this video is probably not going to be as long as the first one. I mean, this is just one of these good, fun concept videos to make. You know, if, should there be a part three? It, it all determines on you guys. If it weren't for you people, I would not make these videos. They would not be produced. I make good content because you guys tell me I make good content. If I made some terrible, poor, piss-ass comment of content, you would tell me I suck. You will go in the comment section and say, Alexander, you don't do a very good job explaining videos. You would come in the comment section and say, Alexander, you need to do better. I want better content. You wouldn't watch these videos. I mean, you would not. So there's a reason why you like these videos, because I obviously give you good content. I'm not saying I'm the best of the best. I'm not saying I'm the greatest of all times. Even if you buy a house, some guys buy a house or an apartment, they become an alpha male of the house or the apartment they buy. And a lot of times, some guys might say, I got my own house, I got my own apartment, why the woman ain't seeing me as alpha? Because if she see you as alpha, she see you as alpha. If she don't, she don't move on to the next woman. It's the same thing with a female. Some women think they're the alpha female. Same thing with you ladies. Sometimes you might say, I want Chad to see me as the alpha female. Sometimes Chad does, sometimes Chad just don't. It, it works both ways. I'm just trying to explain that when you try to make somebody like you who don't like you, you're not making the situation better, you're making it worse. I'm giving you the experience because I'm telling you I used to do it in high school and college. When I got my first job, my second job, I made the same mistake. I tried to make a girl that don't find me physically, sexually attractive to like me, and I was told by everybody at work, you're not making it better, you're making it worse. Even if I walk down the street three hours later or three days later and I see a very physically, sexually attractive girl. And I'm going to probably put this in the video and I'm probably going to make a future video about it in the future to help out you younger guys. Because I know some people are complaining and it ain't been made into a video. And that is this. Just because you make YouTube videos, just because your videos go viral... Just because people see your videos 
that don't mean everyone wants you to say, walk up to them and say, oh man, your video is great. Because some people think that because they videos get number one or number two in the top five or in the top ten or top twenty, they think women see these videos, which women do see my videos. But that doesn't mean every single woman find me physically sexually attractive. That doesn't mean every woman like me. That doesn't mean every single woman wants to see my see my ass. Okay? And I know some of you guys make videos too. And you see them go viral. You, you get popular. You get your 15 minutes of fame. And all of a sudden you think you're the man. And then you go to a nightclub or a bar like I did. In the beginning of me doing YouTube videos from three years ago. And women look at you like. Oh, hell no. Nah. And then the girl look at you like, you, you you think because you make YouTube videos and that you're popular that I like you? That's why I'm telling you guys, just because you are becoming alpha male or you're being trained to be one, that doesn't mean every woman see you alpha. So when you play basketball or football or baseball on the team or you're the manager at your job, that don't mean every single woman is going to look at you as a as a as a bad boy, as a player, as a chad. That doesn't mean they're gonna see you alpha. What that means is you gotta go on to another female. You might say, I talk to five girls and they don't see me alpha. That happens too. But the question you gotta ask yourself, are you trying to make the girls see you alpha? Or or you are not letting the natural process take its course. Because if you're trying to force something that isn't working that might cause problems in the future. That means every time you go to a place and you see women, the women won't talk to you because the word will get out, because news travel fast, that you are trying to make women see you alpha when they don't. Now, somebody might be a smart ass and say, what if it's 10, 15, 20 years later and the woman never sees me alpha? Well, then that could be one or two things. It could be you're still trying to make women like you subconsciously when they don't, or you're just not fit to be the alpha. There are different ways to be alpha. So basically what I'm trying to say is, in order to be alpha, you have to learn how to be alpha. In order to take someone's place, you got to learn from someone. It ain't like the movies and the television shows. See, I made this video because no one's making it. And when I make the next one, it's going to be called, just because you are a YouTube superstar, that don't mean every single woman find you physically sexually attractive you can still get rejected by women just because you think you're a youtube superstar you're hearing it from me because i've experienced both the good and the bad and some people might say well alex make videos alex get women's attention so i'm gonna make a video and then you follow in my footsteps and then you experience what i experience good and bad more bad than good, and then you'd be like, well, Alex didn't tell me that, 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 that if I do videos, women are still going to reject me. It still actually happens to YouTubers. You think when Solo TV 84 does a video that he still don't get rejected? You think when O'Shea Duke Jackson do a video, you still, he don't get rejected? When we do videos, we still get rejected. It, it may not seem like 